Hello everyone and welcome to a second episode of 3D Modeling. In today's episode, as you can already see from uh, the footage behind and also from the thumbnail you have pretty much seen already because I clicked on it, um, we are modeling a wheelchair in this episode and this wheelchair hopefully goes into Planet Coaster really really soon. Um, you're watching this video once the wheelchair is already completely done, so that means the modeling process is done, the texturing is done, it's all already in this video the only issue I still have is I can't just get it into the TMT it's it's just I have still have so many issues with the naming of all the uh, texture files and all this kind of stuff so it's it, I see a lot of stuff already in the workshop I also saw that Jonty already did uh, already get some stuff in but I have to say I'm still struggling I still have no clue how to get this I get so many error messages but yeah you know I'm gonna find a way to work it out and um, yeah in the end I'm definitely gonna have uh, this working again but uh, uh, for the moment, I'm just very, very happy with the progress I made in Blender, because as you can see, it's not Maya any longer, it's Blender, this is for a reason, so as we know that Blender is fully supported, um, there's no reason for me to go to Maya, because I will only have this for like, potentially three years uh, from now on, even not completely, it will be something with, uh, yeah, let's say maybe two and a half years because I already have the license for qu quite a while and it's only for um, studying purposes that means it doesn't really have the full toolbox available it's just a little bit boiled down minimum version so it is not that really you know that it would be that big of an advantage and I have to say uh, since I'm not a pro yet I do need a lot of help and you know people um, I will get a lot of help from people being able modeling in Blender. Um, that's way more easy to find people who are, you know, who can afford um, 1.5 thousand euros a month or a year uh, to afford Maya. So it's way easier um, to communicate with people using the free software Blender. And due to its uh, origin as kind of foundation, no, it's 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 kind of a is it a supported project or kind of thing? But anyways, uh, you know, there is, um, you won't be able to, or you won't need to pay for Blender anytime uh, because it's it's down to the way how Blender works, the whole organization thing. Um, and you only would need to pay for certain extensions, but you know, for the moment I, I don't need to pay and that's just great. And we can basically do the same thing we can do in Maya as well, even though Maya has a better toolbox overall, I guess. And you know, it is for a reason the, uh, standard of the category and the you know the standard of modeling and stuff but for the moment I'm just fairly happy with uh, Blender and uh, this is just kind of the explanation why I'm using Blender again but yeah um, at this point I really need to make a big shout out for Crapzone or Craps one I don't even know how to pronounce that name even though but he was just helping me each and every day I was just bombarding him with um, a million questions and and he was just so kind to answer everything he was even making some videos in private for me to explain certain things and I learned so much from him in Blender so like I was able to improve my my overall progress um, and workflow within one week by let's say 300% I guess I'm, I'm still a noob um, but I'm, I'm getting better and better every second I'm using the program and you know it's it's I'm using the program and every time I'm gonna have a question I'm just putting it into the discord and he's just answering within no time giving me exactly the answers I need so that's super 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 awesome so craps if you are listening watching the video a big big thanks to you it's i think you know i, I know for you it's it's a passion to do it and it, it's cool and stuff and then you're always saying no it's fine but i really appreciate you giving in all the time and just you know spending your time on helping me which is simply not normal at all um and yeah therefore a big thanks to you mate um it really helps me out a lot and i i hope that i can learn even more from you in the future uh, because I'm planning, obviously, to bring so many pieces to the game. And I'm I'm really proud of my wheelchair, to be honest. Even though it's not the cleanest model uh, in the world at the end. Because, as you can tell from the footage, I went way too high poly in. Which um, was actually very intentional. Because I wanted to, first of all, just completely... Um, just you know empty myself from any restrictions just just go away from any restrictions to make sure that I'm you know just building on my own just trying out all the things I have in the modeling process just making sure that I'm capable of modeling in general capable of of creating something the way I wanted and if I would actually just take all the limitation requirements in 
uh, in my mind from the first second on it would actually limit me way too much to, to make this a good result in the end so this is why I just completely started completely free um, and just tried the best I could um, also as you can see at the beginning I didn't know the shortcuts but then I just figured how to use certain shortcuts and it, and it got so much quicker like for example this handle thing over here like this was already a few hours in like this was all like one process I think it was one evening sitting down for like uh, two hours or something so it was like, like an hour in and <laughs> uh, basically as you can see over here I basically forgot to enable wireframe and this is why I was so much struggling to kind of select everything but you can really tell from how I approached this that this was already kind of a bit more experienced I already had an idea how to do it with a very simple way of doing it beforehand I was doing it all by myself like really just moving every vertice on its own but yeah you just get so much quicker in modeling once you understand how the program works and like I think the biggest the biggest advantage I have that in general I think I have a quite well working mind in terms of 3D modeling in general like I, I can really imagine where I want to go I can really I have ideas in my mind how it should look I I have a certain understanding for proportions and for for like dimensions I really have an idea how to do this everything um, I can I can really work with a good template I I can also you know I'm also able to build something out of different templates so like this wheelchair for example it's a totally unique wheelchair it's not a one by one replica of any wheelchair what you would find out there I just took three wheelchairs and and try to you know take the best out of all three models because like there were certain things I wasn't too happy with with the like most wheelchairs feature kind of very thin rims like even thinner than on, on normal um, street bikes or something so really thin um, which is that thin you could you could actually use that as a texture so in the end I could have saved some polys by just using it as a texture like using like basically that was also the idea just making like a full plane circle and then just using a alpha texture in the middle to make kind of these rims that would have been super easy as well but at the end of the day I wanted to have something really solid so maybe I'm going to make a even more low poly version of it later on so I'm just gonna delete all these um, rims and just replace them with a plain well just an alpha texture I should say um, that would kind of be like a possibility to make this model even more low poly if it is causing any performance issues at all but for the moment I think at the end of this video the high poly version has like 6,000 tris which is okay I mean we have a limit of 8,000 and this is 6,000 so it's it's well 75% uh, which is which is simply okay I guess um, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that to be honest but for the moment I'm, I'm just very happy that I was able to model as you can see there was a little cut here because I was finishing the rest of it on my MacBook and on my MacBook I didn't really I didn't really uh, record any any progress so this is why you see the final uh, model already here on the right hand side this is already the lower down poly version um, the one you saw before was the way over the top 60,000 tris uh, model but for the moment um, I was starting to map all the notes and stuff and I have to say this is this is done in a video conference oh, actually it was not a video conference well it was certainly I was seeing his monitor but, but this was in a call with Krabson and he he was really helping me out a lot um, by doing the texturing and note editing and all this kind of stuff I had no I had no freaking idea how this all works but I have to say after this hour of work with him I kind of understand how this all worked together and how this all is is um, using the node system in general and I, I was kind of you know getting a feeling for it which um, is super awesome because I, I have to admit that um, I was fearing this for a long 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 time um, I know that there are some add-ons uh, you could use um, to, to make your life easier and at some point I'm maybe going to purchase those but for the moment I I just need to, to work with what I have because I, I don't have that much money at the moment at hand you know a marriage or wedding is kind of expensive so <laughs> I'm still struggling to you know get a little bit of uh, a free air again in my pocket uh, well actually in my in my pocket uh, in my in my portemonnaie so to say there is like a, a huge amount of free air because there's basically nothing in yet uh, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just like struggling a tiny bit, you know, I'm, I'm totally fine But I'm just struggling a bit at the moment just you know following on, on all these expenses we had so I I basically just 
I need to focus on that first and yeah as, as you know or for those of you who watch my streams you at least know that I am saving up for a RTX 280 Ti and uh, yeah basically this one is freaking expensive so uh, yeah I can't purchase any other expansions but for the moment you can just see that I'm fiddling around a little bit with the unwrapping um, just checking a few things making it all work a bit better just um also replacing some groupings um and, and just making them uh, better so that these kind of foot feet holding system thing of pedals i don't know these pedals i don't know um that they are belonging into the correct group i'm, I'm just ungrouping some things to give it a proper uh, texture because at the end i think the model will have a feature six textures from which four are uh, flexi color i guess that's how it works um or i i need to make it a completely flexi color which then would mean that you have four different um I think that's. I think you can just flexi color four things, and the other two colors you would have no option to recolor at all. They would just be part of the model. And I'm. I was thinking to make kind of the handles and the the kind of pedals um, in in a fixed color, and the rest of the whole model, like the rims, the seat, um, the iron grinders, and also the wheels itself, they are kind of recolorable. Um, this is what I did at the beginning. Even though the rims are not yet flexi color, I need to put the white texture on it. But I, I just left in a darker color at the moment to make sure that it is um, at least for me easier to to see how the model works out but I have to say um, as my first proper blender model I have to say I'm really proud of it I don't I, I mean there will be a million people out there who are just kind of frustrated seeing how uh, I don't know how how dirty I work or kind of I don't know you know the whole model is is kind of I just boiled it down with a dec decimer modifier so it is not the most clean way of making the model look good in the end but I have to say with all the smooth options and stuff it still looks really detailed really awesome and if you you know if you look at the size like the whole rim the whole wheel is only six. 65, uh, 70 centimeters high or tall. So in the game, it is fairly small, to be honest. And you you wouldn't, you know, look up the the model that close. So if you if you just see it from from this angle, you can see there's still a lot going on, like all the vertices and stuff. There, they are still like really. Um, or faces, I should say, not what is vertices, but all the faces. There are quite a lot of faces in because it, it really has a. Um, high amount of detail but yeah i'm gonna reduce that even more for the other lots but yeah for the moment that's it guys um you will now see the final result as we move on uh, to a still image I, I changed a few things before um doing this but here we go this is the final image and i hope you like this process and i hope we see each other in tomorrow's isla napali episode if everything works as planned you should see the model in game then um and yeah I hope you enjoyed this little progress. We're gonna have this more in the future and then I'm going to explain a bit more how I work and what I did. But for the moment, that should be it and have a great Saturday. See you soon and bye-bye.